also uh, catching up on a little bit of this shenanigans. And I was going in my little drawer here, and uh, I noticed my barrel for my damn lesson, my, uh, the actual barrel, is uh, got a little wear, and I saw it had uh, a little bit of surface rust on there. So I, I cleaned that up with just a little croil really quick. And uh, I'm like, well, I, I don't want that to be that way. Well, why would I have to? Because I think this is the ideal solution for something like this. You're not going to see this. This is on the inside of the gun. Fuck, this will work great. So let's do it. Let's see. Oh, yes. Good. surfacey scratches Those two And there you can see no more shiny so it'll work nice now I can uh, you know when I finally get my goddamn shroud back I'll be able to uh, get this guy back in there and I don't have to worry about uh, you know fingerprint oil beating the shit out of the inside of my barrel and I never don't even know hey so uh, reloading for some 44 Magnum so I can get back out you know and uh, do some more with the uh, 7744 since apparently that's what you guys really like and uh, yeah so there's that I uh, I got these nice semi wide cutter gas check like it just ready to load that laser cast shit really I really like these but I came across a round that didn't have the gas check in it it was just bare so I'm taking beeswax and making my own fucking gas check so I'll mark this one out and hopefully I don't fucking blow up my gun but uh, I mean it's just some kind of fucking wax and probably food coloring or some shit. I don't know. But uh, it just needs a little bit of lube to make the gas check. So I think beeswax should be fine. But I thought you guys might get a kick out of that. Seeing uh, my own homemade gas check with uh, beeswax.